ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் பிரவீன் குமார் பொம்மை சேட்டி டுடே வில் சி ஒன் ஆஃப் த பியலாஜிக்கல் ரியல் டைம் சினாரியோ தட் இஸ் ஸோ ஆன் மை கிரெடிட் கார்ட் ஹவு மச் லோன் எலிஜிபிலிட்டி வி நீட் செக் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் யூசிங் பை பியலஸ்கியம் ஸோ அண்ட் அண்ட் வி நீட் டூ சம் வேலேஷன்ஸ் ஓகே லெட் டிஸ்கஸ் த ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட் ஸோ மை ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் தட் ஆன் மை கிரெடிட் கார்ட் ஹவு மச் லோன் எலிஜிபிலிட்டி இஸ் தேர் ஆன் நாட் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபார் திஸ் ஒன் வி நீட் ஹவ் டூ இன்புட் பேரமெண்ட் இஸ் வி நீட் டு பாஸ் ரிஜிஸ்டர் மொபைல் நம்பர் அண்ட் த லாஸ்ட் ஃபோர் டிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கிரெடிட் கார்ட் நம்பர் ஓகே so let us discuss the requirement so requirement is that so we passing register mobile number and last four digit of credit card number so we need to do some validation whether the details are there or not whether offers are there or not so if no offers are there we need to display like this message so if offers are there we need to display the loan amount okay so for this one we need to have two input parameter that is phone number and last four digit of credit card number and our will be like message like whether the details are correct or pf full or loan or there or not like loan amount okay so for this requirement we should have like discuss so we'll see like so if details are incorrect we need to display like this okay hey it seems enter incorrect details so these are the basic validation and we need to check whether loan amount is there or not okay if you say like no there are no pre approved loan on this particular credit card number. and if you have the pre approved loan we need to like approved loan amount is like this okay these are the conditions we need to do so hope this is clear okay so two input parameters and one output parameters we need to do some validations here okay so in order to solve this requirement you should have better understanding of the following concept like ddl data definition language that is creation of a table dml data manipulation language that is insert tcl transaction control language that is commit drl select state okay. so substr to extract some part of the string filtering concept where and and we are using here count is an aggregate function to count number of records are there so procedure okay you should know what is procedure how to write a procedure so in and out parameters so two care functionality trim to remove spaces pipe it is used to concatenate two strings if and if conditional statements exception handling okay and and also to execute the processor so if you know this concepts it would be easy to understand the requirement okay so let us discuss some of the concepts so pipe symbol pipe symbol is to to club two strings into a single string okay syntax string 1 and string 2 so we need to club into a single string so let us discuss one example plsql is one string developer is one string so i want to display the output type plsql and developer how can we convert how can you do this one by using plsql and developer okay this is the pipe symbol this is a string that's why we need to enclose with single quotes so output will be plsql and developer okay so pipe symbol is to concat two strings count count is an aggregate function if you see here this is one table table name is credit card loan details where mobile number equal to 97 okay see two records will come and also i am filtering this condition this is not but filtering condition where and, and okay mobile number is 970 and loan eligibility is 550 see only one record will come so this is by using count this is an aggregate function next one you should know what is processor so syntax is create or replace processor processor name as begin dbms output this is simple processor like hello world processor so next one is what how to execute this processor so we can able to execute the processor by using anonymous block so begin processor name and output will be hello world okay so begin and end we need to put this processor name so output will be hello world okay. now we'll see conditional statement if and end so conditional statements if you want here we'll make it so if and end if so one sample processor i'm writing as begin So if see this is the condition if 100 greater than 50 then go to this block else go to this block okay if see here so if can if this is the condition if condition goes it will go to this block if condition falls it will go to the else block now see condition is stay then output will be 100 is greater than 50 so when this one can be executed by using anonymous block so begin processor name and output will be 100 is greater than okay so this is by using anonymous block so you can able to execute the processor so let us discuss our requirement okay let us discuss one more time so here we need to pass two input parameters one is registered mobile number and the last four digits of your credit card number okay so based on this two inputs we need to display to the output message like on output message like details are correct or any loan is there or not or no loan on is there okay so two input parameters one output parameters for this we need to have one table so create table credit card loan details if you see phone number registered phone number and what is the credit card number so loan eligibility and loan amount what is the loan amount okay so the, some data i am inserting okay if you see insert into credit card loan details 
फोन नंबर क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर लोन एलिजिबिलिटी लोन अमाउंट ओके सी फोन नंबर आई एम कॉपरेटिंग दिस इज द क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर एंड लोन एलिजिबिलिटी ओके सी एन इज नथिंग बट इट दिस क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर डजंट हैव एनी लोन एलिजिबिलिटी ओके सो टी सी स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ डिटेल डीएमएल स्टेटमेंट वी नीड टू कमिट दोस ट्रांजैक्शन सो इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सी हियर फोन क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर loan eligibility is the important okay so based on this one you can able to figure out whether whether is having loan amount or not any offers available on this particular credit card number or not so loan eligibility so why are you now select start from credit card details if you see here sort of two records one record is having like this last four digits nothing but all seven should have like loan eligibility okay so now we'll write the process okay so create or replace procedure procedure name our procedure name is loan eligibility proc instead of procedure so it is having two input parameters okay so one is phone number register for mobile number and last four is our credit card number and output will be the message so these are the these are from front ends and this will be from database level okay user entered values phone number and credit card number so this is we need to give to the user l loan amount count Loan eligibility, care of etc. Okay, so if see here L underscore is nothing but local variables, and if see I am declaring one exception. Okay, this is user defined exception. So you should know P underscore is nothing but it's a parameter set. Two input parameters, one output parameters. So these are the local variables, and I am defining what uh, user defined exception. Let us write the condition. So if sir select a count of star into L count. This is the table name, credit card loan details. So this is the phone number. So why I'm doing substring in the sense like what we want to extract last four so because what user is in entering four digits. That's why I'm doing substring. So based on last four, it will give last four characters. Okay. So if you see based on the user entered phone number and last four characters, we need to check. Okay. So by using conditional statement, if L count equal to zero, then so if in the sense like if you see here. When the phone number and last four digits are not matching, then in the sense like there will be no record. When no record, in the sense like L count will be zero. Zero equal to zero, then we we'll raise exception. So this will be handled by the exception handler. Okay. So one more time, see here. I am checking the count. Okay. So based on the phone number and user enter last four digits credit card number. So if records are there, it won't come here. If records is there, if records are not there, then L count will be zero. Then zero equal to zero, then we we'll raise the exception. So no record exception. So select loan amount, L loan amount. So phone number, last four digits, and loan eligibility equal to Y. Okay. So I'm checking whether on um, whether loan is there or not by using Y condition, phone number, and last four. Okay. So if records are there, it will go to the L loan amount. Okay. So if it, if it is good, if everything looks good, then what now? It will be up to loan amount will be like this. Okay. So two characters will like one comma like this. Okay. Comma separate value can be displayed like this. So if no records are there, then we need to handle the exceptions. Okay, so this is the user defined exception. When no record exception, then it will be enter details are incorrect. So when no data phone in the sense like if see here phone number and this is the PCC lot. Okay, so when no eligibility, when no loan eligibility is there, then it rise to no data phone. So sorry, no offers available. Please try after some time. Okay, so if see if everything goes 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 good, it will be like. Approve loan. Okay. Suppose if records are there, not there, then it will raise enter details are not required. So if records are there but no loan eligibility, suppose if flag will be in, then it will be sorry, no offers will be like this. Okay. So based on the user input and based on the data, it will be thrown like this. Okay. If everything looks good, it will go to this block. If everything like exception happen, it will go to the exception handler. Okay. So we'll see one more time. Okay. See here, I'm putting everything in a single page. So phone number. Last four digits. So two input parameters, one output parameters. Okay, phone number and last four digits. Okay, output will be like message as loan amount number. So you should know what is input parameters, what is output parameters, what is local variables. Okay. So these are the input parameters. These are the local variables. So no record exception. This is the exception. User defined exception. So these are the declared in the declaration section. Now we'll write the X. Okay. This is create or replace procedure. Procedure name parameters as local variables begin end. Okay. So we need to write the conditions like logic. Everything will be right in the execution block. Select count of star into L count. So this is credit card loan. It is the table name. Phone equal to P phone 
and sub str of a last row. Okay. So if you see here. So what first condition is what we need to check whether phone number and credit card details they are there in the database or not in the particular table is there or not. Okay. So if you see, I'm checking the count. Okay. I'm checking based on the phone number and based on the user input phone number and last word is. So if records are there, then it will it will then L count will be one. But if you see records are not there, then L count will be zero. Zero equal to zero, then condition two, it will be two, then it will just raise the exception. So if you see it will raise the exception. Okay. So if you see, so it will directly go to the when exception happen, it will directly go to the exception handler. So when row and record exception, then we display to the user like enter details are incorrect. Please check. So if you see, suppose if you enter wrong details, then we need to handle like count will be zero, then directly go to the exception block. So if you see if L count equal to one, then it will go, it won't go to it won't go to in this set is block, it will come directly to the next block. Okay. Loan amount into L loan amount. So create card loan details where phone number, P phone, and sub tier of last four. And we are checking loan eligibility flag. If it is why in the sense like it will regard as okay. So then we display user like up to loan amount is L loan amount. So whatever. So if you see, I'm passing the phone number, last four digits, and checking whether loan amount eligibility is there on. So if everything good looks good, L amount will be stored and will be displayed to the user. Suppose if phone number is there and the credit card number is there, but what flag is in, then what happened? It will directly go to the no data phone because select into if nothing, it will go to no data phone. Okay. So output will be sorry, no offers available. Please try after some time. Okay. So we are passing phone number, credit card, last four digits. So two input parameters, one output parameters. So user entered values. So if you see, first condition will check whether phone number and credit card details are there or not. If it is not there, when raise exception, it will go to the enter details or no record exception. So enter this, please check. Okay. Suppose if see him, if it is record is there, then we'll go check whether loan eligibility is there or not. So if eligibility is there, when display like approved loan amount is like this. Suppose if details are there, but we have no offers are there, then it will be, it will go to the no data form. Sorry, no offers available. Please try offers. Hope this is clear. Okay. This is like, if you know the conditional statement, if you know the exception handling, okay. So then this requirement will be easy to understand. Okay. That's why. So if you want to solve the requirement, like prerequisite, some concept needs to be understood. So let us execute this procedure. So this is the table, phone number, credit card number, loan eligibility, loan amount. Okay. Two records are there. So result, well, okay. So one input, phone number, second input, last four, and you see P message. Output you can able to see by using this thing. Okay. So if say this is the loan eligibility process of procedure name, two inputs, one is the phone number, other one is last four digits, and result will be stored as output parameter. Okay, see 9703180969. This is the phone number is there, credit card number last four. If see this is the last four characters. If you see loan eligibility is five. Okay, and then what everything looks good, then what it will be it will display upload loan amount is one lakh. Okay. So because if you see record is there, phone number is there, and seven 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 is there. And all eligibility is right. Okay. So it will see the output loan amount is one line. So now we'll see false conditions. This is the negative scenario. So we'll see. Okay. First we'll see discuss false scenario. Now we need to see we need to, we need to see negative scenarios. So loan eligibility proc, phone number, last four message. So you see this is the procedure name, input parameters, input parameters, output parameters. So you see nine seven. This is the input for okay, phone number and last four. If see last four is triple six, four, six, and you see loan eligibility is N. Okay. So in the sense like what? No, no pre approved loan is there. Okay. You see here, output will be like this. Sorry, no offers available. Please try after some time. Okay. So if it is N, that's why we need to dispel this message. So one more use case we'll see. Four number message result. Okay. So if here, I'm passing phone number. This is the procedure name, phone number, last four message. So phone number is there, but if see, four ones are not there. Okay, last four credit card number is not there. Okay, see, these details are incorrect. So you should get output should be like, enter details are incorrect. Please check. If see, if you see, only two records are there. Okay, only phone number. And if see, last four digits, okay, like three, four ones are not there. That's why what? So enter details are incorrect. Hope this is clear, okay. So if you want to solve the experiment, you should have better understanding of the following concept. Like so, like conditional statement, if condition, like 
exception handling. Okay, so all this one will be okay. If you know this key, it will be easy to understand this concept. Now, some coding standards will see. Okay, so when you write anything, no, in real time, you should follow some coding standards. Okay, parameters like input parameters, output p underscore, it should be like p underscore four and p underscore this and but parameters. Okay, local variables. Okay, l underscore local variable name. Okay, l count l amount. So, local. so by seeing that, so it would show like these are the parameters, these are local variables. And function name, processor name, package name should be self explained. Okay, see, loan eligibility prop. Okay, by seeing this one, you can say it's a loan eligibility prop. So whenever you follow anything, you no, know, we should we should follow this thing coding standards. Okay, so it would be like in real time we should follow this coding standards. Okay, like in weekend, you no, know, like in October first, I'm starting a new batch. Okay, that is the weekend batch. So daily, like, uh, so if you are interested, you, know, you can able to reach on this. Thing. Okay, so this is my number. You can able to reach it. So this is the weekend batch. So if you like the content. subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching